All right, this is Trackdown 3 co-op campaign, part one. Let's hope this works this time around. Hmm. I'm gonna be Let's Terry Crews. It's, right. it's Isaiah Jackson, get it right. He just looks a lot like <laughs> Terry Crews. And also happens to sound like him. Uh-huh. Ah, please wait while the game checks for our new updates. And my screen froze. Give it a sec. Please work. Interesting. It. It. it uh, <sighs> All right. Okay. Relaunching because this game hates me. And then when it, when I get back in. <sighs> send me another invite. Not yet. Just saying. Send me another. Send me an invite. <laughs> Shit, I sent the wrong person an invite. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Alright, I'm clicking world slot one. Connecting the co-op game, please wait. I hope me accidentally inviting someone else won't mess it up. <laughs> What's not well, mistaken, this co-op game is four players. And it's loading. Hmm. Maybe when you're in the load. So who oh are you? Oh my god. Who are you playing? I'm, 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 I think his name's Ro, Ro, it's, it's, he's friend. He's part of like, he was a part oh, of French Oh yeah, police. that one. Ro, 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 I don't know. It's a, I'm totally butchering it. R O U X. Yeah. It's like Ro. Or Ro. Hopefully this time it'll actually show the opening cutscene because the cutscene is weird but interesting. You know, it was about as Terry Crews as Terry Crews can get. Because you're able to play the co-op campaign with your team. A friend! Oh, they made noises. Back to the game, okay, well, no cutscene, no voiceover, and my FPS just went to shite. Just grunt. All right. Well, apparently I'm playing this on console mode because I'm at 30 FPS. I do not like that. Dude, I started. Left for the pickup. I'm holding. Those glowing green orbs. There's some kind of agency training hologram. Oh my oh, god. You keep knocking me off. <laughs> oh, Jesus. My FPS, why? Yeah, this is fucking weird. Oh, cutscene? Cutscene. Another Terra Nova rescue operation. They've been airlifting refugees for weeks. How come you're hearing stuff, but I'm not hearing anything? We need to shut down the propaganda they're feeding the refugees. And the force fields they use to contain them in the Outlands. Best way to do that? 
Take out the nearby power station. I'm gonna have to optimize my graphics later. Just, just, just FPS is not great. Oh, whoops! Nice. <laughs> oh my god! Why do I have a, a, a cursor? There we go. That was how I accidentally shot. Oh, sorry, pal. Shit, I missed. Come on, Jackson. That was the weakest throw I've ever done. I mean, you are French. I'm good at surrender. <laughs> yeah. You can surrender, and that's about it. All right. This is the place. Watch oh, out crap. for the guards. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Oh. Uh, let's just say I, uh, I saw the green thing and I really wanted it. So, you can only imagine what happened. Oh, oh, that works. How do you reload? Press R? Uh, controller. Uh, maybe it's this button? Uh -oh. oh, yeah, it's that button. Okay. Alright, level up. Quick. Catch! Nope. Oh. Looks like your suit just updated. I'm seeing new jump boosters. Oh, Unlock oh I forgot activity. I get agility skill increased. Yeah. That looked like a, the, the glitters. The, <laughs> I was mistaken because I thought that the. Uh... Oh crap! Oh, oh god! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Okay. I was struggling. Hey, Ethan, Ethan, Nova Communications. Ethan, Ethan. Trying on them for a change. Nice. I'm happy to report those guards didn't get a chance to call in. Still off the Ethan, radar. I swear. <laughs> oh, there's a thingy. Ammo. I'm clicking it and nothing's happening. Alright. Uh, Alright, you're up there. Okay, sure that's cool. Wait. All the generators. Hmm? It's not hard to play with a keyboard and mouse. Okay. That's cool though. We share uh uh the little orbs and shit we get. Unbelievable! The agency is on the island? Give them a proper Terra Nova welcome. That ray of sunshine is Wilhelm Berg, an eight keeper. I'm all prepared for this, I even got my Coca-Cola California Raspberry. I see, so we're the resistance. Berg is our first target. If all goes well, he won't be our last. His official title is Manpower Lieutenant. A fancy term for bastard who preys on the helpless. And he gets away with it because he's got the keys to the city. I marked your crime map with that Those power so station loud, man. down, but Berg has already tapped into a set of backup generators. His main gateway is still locked down. If we're going to get you and the refugees into the city, we've got to take that backup station out. Obviously, by doing that, we need to go to the supply point waypoint, and that's where we're going. Stay alert. Also, is it better I turn my volume down? Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't like this whole auto locking system just because I can't get headshots. Well, I've learned that the water down below I've seen is too many acid. Nova thugs use those guns on the people. So let's see how they like being in your sights. Yoink. <laughs> By the way, I picked up a PDW. Coming up on nice. an old Nova supply point. Get close, and I'll see if I can reactivate it for you. Yoink. Fly point is yours. Check it out. This is a pistol. Oh, it's how we get secondary weapons, like other stuff that I can do. God, this I thing has potato have. accuracy. Oh, and, and, and fast travel. Shit. Terranova is here to help you. Have you forgotten? 
follow the rules and be rewarded. But we have two weapons now. You have the pistol and the PDW. All right. You found a fragmentation grenade? Oh. Looks like pretty standard. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a fair amount of weapons in this game. Mm hmm. And the stuff around us is a weapon, too. I mean, you got oh, we can weapon. hold three at a time, too? That's awesome. Yes. So in, the, I, in Crackdown 2, I think you could only have two plus grenades. If I recall. It's been a while. Ah! Wrong button! Oh, I leveled up something. Shit. There you are. My eyes just evolved? Oh, can I dance like that too? <laughs> Do like the little jump boosted. But what I don't like is... Down, agent. No way we make it through with that generator still running. Where the hell is this guy oh. shooting me from? Oh, it's an explodey thing. I think I can climb this, right? Yeah. Oh, so you can jump and shoot too. That's what I was curious <gasps> Yes! Don't, don't forget you can climb walls and shit. Yeah, I know. But what's more fun? Oh, I level up. Firearm skill increased. Dead eye unlocked. Oh, we have to go eliminate. Charge! Charge! That did it. I'm tapped into Berg's gateway systems, and he's vulnerable. Now we know where he is. All that's left right. is taking him out. Huh. Take him out. All right. So this is really the this is the story. Without the this, we're literally running the story just without the cutscene, like with very few cutscenes. Yeah, you're gonna want to go and watch the opening cutscene to understand how we even got here. Yeah. Well, I've got the feeling. I'm going. Oh. oh. I don't have the ground oh, pound yeah, yet. Plasma rifle. Wait, really? Where'd you get that? I picked it up off a robot. How do I throw grenades? Uh, let's try this button. Not that button. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's that button. That worked. Oh, it's a double shot. It's a double shot. Okay. Well, I got a plasma rifle now. That plasma rifle. Oh, it is straight up sci-fi weaponry. Except it's real and in your hands. Here we go. Bird is printing reinforcements. As long as he lives, he'll keep coming to you. Gotta say, voice acting could really use some work. Oh yeah. That's cool, it'll automatically target weak spots. It's okay, I still enjoy it. Yeah. This is the co-op aspect more of anything. I mean, when you play Crackdown, you're not here necessarily for the story, you're here to do ridiculous crazy shit. Yep. And right now, we're doing ridiculous. Okay, so I guess when we unlock weapons, either through finding them or supply, whatever, we, we get the, uh, I want his gun. His mouth just moved, but I didn't hear him say anything. Uh, I don't know, yeah. I think what they need to work on is the co-op. Oh, by the way, there, you can do, like, dodge rolling and shit, too. I know. I'm not sad. <laughs> Reloading. I do admit, though, I do like the combat. It's pretty fun. Okay, so that's how you switch to turn. Yeah. It's like, it's like a rehash to the old Xbox 360 arcade days. It's been so long since I played a Crackdown game, too. Yes, right. I have grenades. What's up? Oh, that's what's up. I missed. I would appreciate it if you would target. There we go.
Kill him? Yeah. Nice. Holy shit. I can't believe it. We got past the gatekeeper. Oh, and I got his gun. And the people of the Outlands. We've so helped them into the city. I know we just met, Agent. But I've got to say, we make a damn good team. And we're just getting started. One of my favorite things about the Crackdown is the fact that as your character levels up, you actually see them in their physical appearance change. Like in Crackdown 2, you got a bunch more armor and got bulkier, and in this game, it's the same. That's cool. We're like superhumans. Yeah. Well, in Crackdown 2, you were in you were clones, so I don't know. And the descriptions for the characters, they said they had actual backgrounds. So, oh, cutscene. Agent, is that you? My god, we thought you were all dead. Oh, it's your boss, man. This is Agency Director Charles Goodwood. Who the hell am I talking to? You can call me Echo. Or even better, the person who put your agent back together after some shitty intel almost got them killed. Thank you very much. Stealing agency data is a criminal offense, Miss Swift. Hey, the only criminals I see are wearing Terra Nova suits. And with my help, your agent is already bringing them to justice. Listen up, civilian. The agency is the world's preeminent crime-fighting task force. We've been kicking ass since before you were born. This time, it's different. When the blackouts hit, even we were blindsided. Then our satellites came back online and found the one major city still glowing in the dark. Five years ago, this place was a desolate spit of land in the ocean. Yes, it's truly inspiring what a greedy, all-powerful corporation can accomplish. It all starts with Elizabeth Neiman, but she's recruited one hell of a team to build her dream. Dick Catala Vargas, head of the industry division. Vargas was a Nobel Prize-winning scientist, now in charge of Chimera, the stuff that blacked out the world and left so many of us lost in the darkness. Or how about Kulinagata? The hired muscle handling security. He is a butcher who will do anything to protect company interests, especially if it means spilling other people's blood. Last but not least, Alois Quist, architect of Terra Nova Logistics, the control freak who designed this entire island and keeps it running like clockwork at any cost. Terra Nova is using local monorail stations to direct the flow of human resources. If the refugees end up on those monorail trains, God only knows what will happen to them. Agent, you are in enemy territory with no shortage of viable targets and a clear-cut mission directive. Save the people, save the world. Take down Terra Nova by any means necessary. All right. Well, Let's we got our go. orders. Agent, now that I'm hooked back into your vitals, I see our friend regen you with a baseline set of skills. You'll need to rebuild yourself if we're going to save the world. Wouldn't all this be easier with a bit more agency assistance? Maybe we'll get lucky and find more survivors, but all other assets are overwhelmed in the blackout zones. So for the time being, you're on your own. Unless we start a revolution. If the locals want to help, great. But my agent is there for one reason. To oh, stop this is the a garage. Attacks. No. Huh. Ethan, come on, get in, man. Hey, I'm reloading all my weapons. Can I ride in the back? Nope. How do I... Well, I'm gonna ride on your roof. Let's do this shit. Is that Just really cause where it style. You? What? Is that where it puts you? Uh, no, I just jumped on here. Alright, cool. This game needs more music. Nice. I don't see many refugees at that monorail station, but we should still shut it down just in case. See if you can draw out the AI <laughs> station master. Yeah. Then put the robotic. Oh my gosh, have you tried out his gun? Yeah. That oh, station master is looking for a fight. That one, man. Oh, God. Wow, we fucked this day. 
created. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. A blunt reminder that your current course of action is a flagrant violation of Terra Nova law. I wondered when Roxy would come out to play. The monorail network on New Providence is run by Roxy, a friendly customer service AI, corrupted by Terra Nova. Every monorail station we take forces Roxy to adjust operations nearby, putting more of their network in our sights. So the more stations you capture, the closer we get to finding and offlining Roxy. I like that they gave a name to the uh, commander, but at the same time, I kind of liked how in the previous games he was just a mysterious voice. Ah, let me pick up this stupid gun. Oh. I don't even know what it does. Explosives go crazy. Bag of tricks unlocked. Okay, don't know what that does. Whoa! I don't know what this does, but I'm about to try it out. And here's a thingy over here. Need ammo? Cause there's ammo. No. All right. So I say we go to the next one we want to go to. I don't know what that would be. Just go over here. This is it. Yeah. Yep. yep. This is it. All right. Let's go this way. Right. There's a uh, three times agility orb up here on this roof. We may want to grab that since getting our agility skill up early on. Be really yes. beneficial. Uh, where's the agility skill? Up on, on that top roof? of this roof. The one I'm oh, trying to get up to. Oh, to what are you doing? All you gotta do is just yeah. jump up. Nova's activating the prisoner hard point. Yeah. The locking of oh, militia shit. members. We need What's them back on the street, ready to mobilize. Remember, kid. Monkey moonshine. Ah! It's worse than booze. It's toxic swill. And the locals are hooked on it. You should blow up every tank and kiosk you find. Of what? Monkey moonshine, okay. That sounds legit. I hope we get a wingsuit in this like we did in the, the second game. I don't know, but where's that prisoner transport? It's not a prisoner transport, it's transporting monkey moonshine, apparently. Yeah, prisoner. Can I grip this shit? I think right, we, we, we have to be able to jump higher and we can't. Alright, I'm up here. How'd you, how'd you, oh wait, we can climb. Huh? Yeah, I just had to find a place I could was actually climb. Man, it's oh. like a... Wow, wow, we're not getting that orb. <laughs> not for a while, at least. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Let's go this way! To the orb over on this roof, yeah? Yep, that's a twofer. We can do that. Maybe. <clears throat> if I could just make my freaking jump. Got it. Crap. You know, it feels kind of weird. Agent, to... oh. As you climb Terra Nova's corporate ladder to cut him off at the head, keep in mind... You've been bioengineered to jump higher, move faster, and conquer any obstacle with ease. Just need to keep upping your agility. Well, we're working on it, dang it. <laughs> but it's kind of weird going from fighting weird mutant zombie things and terrorists to a major company. All right, Agent, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. There are hidden orbs across the island. Generated by your suit to encourage exploration. Over here, there's a mega the combat landscape. Hunt them down, and each of your skills will get a big time boost. I found one of those rare orbs that gives you ability, or that ups all of your abilities. All right, well, I got another agility orb up here, so you know. All right. Then I'll come to you. I'll go get that. It's just in this little opening oh, right here. Oh, after they talk to you, they talk to me. Oh, okay. So there's a delay. No, it's not a delay, I think it's more of a... No, I want this car. Give me your car. I can't remember how long it took me to uh, maximize all my skills in the second game. Ethan, I got a new vehicle for us. No, I'm coming. Probably hold down F, you know, I keep tapping it. Did you really just steal a future Prius? Yes, I did. Oh my god. How, maybe, how do I get in? Is it this button? Well, that wasn't the right button. That's also not the right button. Alright, so I, I think it can only ride on top. I guess you can only run on the roof. Yeah, let me see. Can, 
if maybe I can steal this taxi because this thing looks spiffy. Nope. nope. Running away because you blew us up. Oh, nice Ethan! Quick, stop that car! And I'm stop sure that car! Mind the agency no! It. I want this car! Scan it to your inventory. No! I'm coming, now. Mike. Just hit a vehicle cap there you go, I got it. on the city. Oh, Here, can I get in? Because if I get in, it'll save it to my thing, and if you uh -huh. get in that one, it'll save it. Get in the other car. It's a. Ooh, well, let me in. Also fire. Ooh. New ride Vel in your stable. Velocio. Here, you can keep this one. I like the muscle anyway. Yes. You know, when we get to the point, we'll be able to swap vehicles on the fly. Like, you click a button, and your vehicle will just completely change. Oh my god, 100 miles per hour. God, you are just out of there. <gasps> Whoa, an outpost! Oh, shit. I got blown up. The key to taking out a vehicle lockup, destroying their vehicle. Drop any defenses and leave How did their I rides survive? smoking. <laughs> You're just getting thrown around on my screen. Where are they? Shit. I need to uh, switch weapons, switch weapons. Oh, we had to destroy. Oh, I'm down. Vehicle. Okay. Got it. I have one simple request. Kill the agent. Do oh, we identified somebody else? Job. Meet Lieutenant Liv Sorensen, protector of the people. Head enforcer of Terra Nova rules. According to agency intel, Liv Sorensen is a professional peacekeeper for dictators, rogue states... And now, corrupt corporate enterprises. Sorensen's enforcers are posted across the city. When trouble sparks, word spreads fast to nearby units, putting them on alert, but also in our sights. The more of her enforcer brigade you wipe out, the faster Sorensen will be isolated. And then, we can deliver some justice. Oh. Now that they know where you are, Agent, they'll be scrambling more hit squads to hunt you down. So watch your back and take them out first. <laughs> I blasted that poor woman away. Ooh, shotgun. You know the deal. Shotguns cut through trouble up close are they? There and they are. personal. <laughs> This guy's got a grenade launcher. I want that. I burn people too. How do I? Uh, I wonder if I could drop this. When it, when I pick up a weapon, does it drop the other weapon I got? Yeah. Yeah, Ethan, come here, come here. Uh, and um, let me pick up this PDW, but drop this again because I like this weapon. But pick it up so you can scan it. All right. I want to also grab the grenade launcher from this guy up here. Yeah. Come come, come grab this with us. I got the grenade launcher guy. Uh, where? Ow. Ow. You're Over taking here. damage. This thing? Oh, and then pulse drop beam. it. That pulse beam is fierce. Yeah, I like this. Let her rip and, you can and take cut there. through the Let me scan the grenade launcher. Oh, crap. <laughs> I almost fell. How'd you get up there? I right, don't. I just scanned the grenade So you can take it. I missed. Oh, what's that? Do I like how to drive my vehicle? Where's the... Yoink! Where's the grenade launcher? Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. What? Oh, that's just the dust hitting that Peter. Which should be off. Because there's no reason. It's not burning, it's just stuff from the heater. Uh, when you... Make sure I'm gonna get oh, reloaded. Geez. I just bursted that guy open by dropping on his dead body. That's dark, and I love so, it. So, what are you doing? Okay. Weapons I haven't Shut picked up. Door. By the way, did you pick up the shotgun? The scan it. Uh, yeah, I already have a shotgun. I right. switched the shotgun out with the PDW because I like the PDW plus and a shotgun. Robot orders. They'll hit you with anything right, they can I'm throw. Switch the nade. Target eliminated. On to the next. Yeah. 
What the heck is that shooting? Over here. Oh, right there. Taking damage from both. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah. Nice. I felt like you and I should have played on a harder difficulty. Yeah. We're one step closer to saving the locals. We can always back out and change it too. No, I know. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, you if you want that one laser, this thing, this thing I have. Uh-huh. And pick it up over here. Oh, never mind. I accidentally picked up the ammo. Rip. Didn't mean to do that. Well we'll probably find a drop point in your, nearby anyways. So I'm gonna swap out my pistol. There's PDW. Oh dude, I've already swapped out my pistol. I actually kinda like the pistol. Actually, oh, I no. think I'll swap out my grenade launcher because it wasn't doing too hot. But I'm going to end this episode here.